Hey Van fans, today we're gonna to talk about putting 35 inch tires on your stow and we've done it. So I just wanna show you how it came out and some of the things that we like and that we don't like. So first off, 35 inch tires are 315 slash 70 R17 or whatever size rim you have. If your rim changes, then the tire size is gonna to change too. Um, so if you are running 18s or you are running 16s, you're not going to want to run the 315s you're going to want to run something else of a different combination there are calculators that will show you how to do that um, i am actually running the new owl van talon wheels with my combination which are they come only in a 17 inch wheel they come with amazing offsets already on them so you don't need to add the offsets onto the wheels come on in and i'll show you a little bit closer so one thing that i think is really important to know is you cannot put spacers on with these tires or with the offset that's already created from Owl. If you do, they'll stick out way too far. They're already sticking out. And if you came and looked down the body line of the truck or the van right now, you're gonna see the tire sticks out from the wheel well, I would say about an inch and a half to two inches. That is an issue, I will tell you. The, the side door will rub on the tire um, but it does work so you can still open it you couldn't even go a centimeter more or it wouldn't work um, and to be honest if you didn't want it to rub you could probably reskin the um, panel that Stowe put on there and get rid of that rubbing if you wanted to um, we like it because it keeps the door kind of propped to where we want it to be so here's a couple things when you're running the big tires number one um, I'm going to actually show you the van with the original stealth wheels on it and then switched over to the talons and we're going to um, do that video right here Okay, so I'm, gl I'm glad you got to see that video. I think it's pretty cool um, seeing how it changes the whole look of the van. Um, a couple things on the back. Number one, we have the Owl Vans uh, tire carrier on the back. We always have. Um, one thing that is an issue when you get to this size tire is number one, you're not gonna be able to run your emblem, your uh, stock emblem on here. You'll see that I had to remove it. Now, I will tell you, you can, close the doors with it on. However, you can only open it from the inside once you do that. And the way you would do that to, to close it with is you'd open both doors and then you kind of push them together at the same time to get the emblem to work in there. And then close one and close the other one. Now the problem, I thought I had a slick uh, safety device on there that would work, but when I tried to open it, it only opened about this far and I couldn't reach my hand in to pull the lever to open the other door up. So um, I was still stuck. So um, for a fix, we're actually looking at a place on Etsy that can make a custom um, symbol. And we're gonna do kind of an overlapping symbol so that we can kind of cover up the fact that it's uh, a, a custom piece. Um, we do, I mean, we can come over about three quarters of the way on that, uh, that emblem. And I'll share more once I actually create one of those emblems. I'm just trying to figure out something really cool to put on the back here. So that's why we're waiting. Um, other issues. So we talked about basically the two issues that we've had. Number one is the door rubbing the tire. Number two is this emblem um, you need to replace. So the third thing I will highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, I did some major damage to my body putting these tires on the actual vehicle. Um, these weigh a lot. And I will tell you a lot is the, the tire itself is 60 pounds and the wheel I haven't actually measured, but I'm guessing it's somewhere around 40. So between the tire and the wheel, you got about 100 pounds. And to put it on that little tiny lip that you get um, to, uh, to install the tire on the wheel and the Mercedes, it's almost impossible to do, I will tell you that. So I did immediately buy the, the lug um, 
studs that you can temporarily put in from all vans put the two of those in put the tire on and then run your regular bolts and then remove those and put your bolts in so i think that is the best investment you can make if you're thinking about going to 35s one other really cool thing a lot of people don't know about these talon wheels which is amazing if you want to come in closer is you're going to notice that they have two valve stems so you have the standard valve stem that has the um the uh, measure it measures your tire pressure um, from the stock van and then it has a quick deflate valve as well here so you just undo this you pull the the lever and it deflates the tire uh, probably four times quicker than a normal one would um, so it gives you the flexibility of both you can also do tire slime through this uh, valve if you needed to as well which is i guess if you had that desire you need it it's awesome all right so i want to talk about the pros and cons to running 35s on your van uh, number one uh, pro is you are going to get 20 times more compliments than you got on your van before. So if you were getting compliments already, uh, times that by 20, and that's how many more compliments you're going to get. It totally changes the feel and look of the van. So uh, people are um, going to come up to you and ask you what's going on. So second off, another pro is actually... I thought it was going to handle worse. I thought it was gonna be harder off the line. I thought it was going to be um, kind of cushy and bouncy, and I thought the tire noise was gonna be louder. None of those things are true. Uh, the tire noise, if anything, is quieter, um, even with the windows down. Um, I am running the same tires that came on the van stock, so or came with the Storyteller. I thought they were great tires. Um, and that's the reason I stuck with them. Uh, second off, the bounciness. I don't see that at all. If anything, the ride has improved, um, and I think it's those bigger tires kind of fit the size of the vehicle better, and therefore you're getting just a more comfortable ride. I love it. Um, third off, off the line and just driving normal, it seems to be running faster than normal. Um, and I don't know if it's because maybe I've manually tuned it by putting bigger tires on it and therefore the normal um, rpm that the, it feels like the wheels are going are now going the vehicle's actually going faster and therefore it's improved the performance of the vehicle by doing that however i think it's less sluggish off the line i think it's more powerful as we're going up hills and stuff it's just the weirdest thing but that's the feeling i got from just driving it i could be wrong however that's how I feel. And uh, third off um, for positives is this is just a, it's a huge improvement um, just from handling as well, going around corners and stuff. It just feels more grounded. And I think it's because of the wider stance. Um, with those offsets on those tires, they're being pushed out a little bit further. And I think it's like a mini Cooper where you're more on the edges and therefore it's giving it a, a steadier ride. And it just feels like I said, more grounded. Now, I will tell you, I'm not telling anybody to do these 35s on your van. I'm telling you not to do them if that's what you're gonna come back and say, well, this guy told me I could do it. Don't, but if you feel comfortable doing it, you can see it works. We've been driving with it for about five to 600 miles now. Um, it has not changed our fuel efficiency any. Um, it hasn't, like I said, the ride's only been improved. Um, as for rubbing, I'm not getting any rubbing that I wasn't already getting where, um, you know, and when I say rubbing, it was more like some noises and stuff, but um, everything is quieter. And uh, so it's the same as it was before, um, if not better. So those are the positives. The negatives are, once again, your door will rub on your tire. Your, the, the tires are heavy. So if you do have to change one out, they're really heavy. So if you're not able to lift hundred pounds, Maybe getting 35s is not the right answer for you. You're not gonna be able to lift them. And then third off is that little emblem on the back. But to me, those are small pains. So one last thing, um, as everybody knows, the adaptive cruise control will not work with 35s. That is 100% true. It will not work. Um, at the time of this recording, um, Rentec, when I first started this process of going down this um, path, Rentec did have a module available for larger tire circumference. Um, they pulled that off of their website, so that is not available actively. Um, I did contact the company and they said that there was a few glitches 
and they're working through those to get that fixed. So as of this recording, you will not be able to use your adaptive cruise control. You will not have any cruise control in the vehicle at all. So if that's a big deal killer for you, then don't do this because you're not gonna be able to have that. Rentech said by November, December, they expect that they'll have that module available. And at that time, I'll, I'll do a new review if I'm able to purchase that. But at this time, I'm just, um, just using it without cru cruise control. I did go through some other forums. I did try to remove the GPS. Um, I think you have to remove the GPS and the speedometer. I'm not gonna do that. Um, but um, I did unhook the GPS uh, antenna and it didn't um, unfortunately do anything um, other than uh, totally mess up our uh, navigation on our cell phone even. Uh, I think the two communicate with each other when your cell phone is plugged in. It, it put us on a different portion of the map. We had to reset it and once we did everything worked fine. But everything else works exactly like it worked before um, when we're talking about uh, putting the tires on and not. So if you have any other questions or any other questions about like, how do you like this or what's that? Please let me know, I'd love to help out. I hope you guys have a great day, take care.